Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my live broadcast. I'm Amy Lei, a stock trainer at Homely Chat Company, which is a stock training school. And today is 12th October 2020, um, Monday, right? And so today we are going to talk about firstly about IFAST, right? So this morning I was checking the performance. It's quite strong. It sold up by 6% when I was checking. So it's quite strong. Have you, uh, able, have you been able to capture it? So what lesson to learn from the rally here? And for US markets, we know that uh, Apple is going to announce its 5G iPhone 12 uh, tomorrow, right? 13th October, there will be the announcement about this uh, 5G iPhone 12. So people are wondering, can we buy Apple now, right? Yeah, that's the second topic. And the third section, we will talk about your individual stocks. I will do stock diagnosis for you. So I mentioned you uh, better get your individual stocks ready now. So that later I say it's the uh, diagnosis uh, time. So you can let me know immediately uh, your individual stocks. You can either write in the comment uh, section, comment section, or you can also WhatsApp me privately. Okay, either we can do. Okay, so uh, because today is uh, Monday, right? Uh, and we need to know where we are for stock for the stock market now, right? So we need to know our position, our location for the current market. So uh, I will just take one or two minutes to talk roughly about the indexes first. For example, uh, let's say firstly U.S., right? So a uh, U.S. market, my opinion has remained unchanged. For U.S., you check the major indexes, the price is still in rebound, right? So the resistance level, the resistance level is the previous yellow Tai Chi signal, right? So yellow Tai Chi signal would be the future resistance. The bottom of the yellow Tai Chi signal is um, uh, 10,875 points and the top of the yellow Tai Chi signal here is um, uh, 11,531. So this range will be a strong resistance. Currently we see the rebound already break up the bottom of the yellow Tai Chi signal but the top of the yellow Tai Chi will be a really strong resistance. So whether or not the US market can become quite strong again for a while, it depends on whether or not the price can break up the resistance here. It, but we're expecting that if the price continue rebounding to touch this level, so it's possible that price might drop first maybe sideways or maybe drop uh, further, bigger drops, because resistance is not easy for the price to just break, break up directly. There might be some struggles between the bulls and the bears around the level here, right? And this is if the price uh, rebound. If the price, let's say for this week, a turn week again, a drop, right? It's also possible, a drop, then the support will be here below around the yellow lines of a homely rainbow. This is the strong support here, right? So I mentioned a long time ago uh, that it's possible that the price might be quite volatile within the support and resistance levels here. So you check Nasdaq, check S&P 500 and check Dow Jones, it's the same, okay? It's the same. Dow Jones, check. But for Dow Jones, it's a, a bit stronger than Nasdaq because you can see clearly Dow Jones, currently the price already reached the top of the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi signal, okay? So it's a bit stronger. So if it can break up, so that's a good thing. But 
According to Dow theory, the indexes of the same market should, would always verify each other. If Nasdaq and S and P five hundred really drop a lot, so I don't think uh, Dow Jones can go up all by itself. It's uh, it, it itself alone. So I I I don't think that's possible. If really the other two indexes drop and uh, Dow Jones more likely would also drop. At least cannot go up smoothly. Maybe sideways or drop uh, slightly, right? But in the end, it would uh, uh, remain the same, roughly the same direction as um, uh, Nasdaq and S and P five hundred, right? And then for S and P five hundred, price also is now enter the. Resistance level between the low price and high price of the previous、uh, yellow touch signal. So the top would be strong resistance. It's around three thousand five hundred sixty-six. Okay, so this is for the U.S. market. So high probability volatile within the support and the resistance levels. And then how about our Singapore FSS STI? So STI has. Ah,、uh, sorry, F S S T I. So S T I has、um, successfully break up the two thousand five hundred level, right? We mentioned that's the strongest、uh, resistance level for S T I. The good thing is currently the price is、uh, above two thousand. Five hundred around that level. Now the price above, and today the price also rebounded a bit, right? For Singapore, up until now it's still in, uh, in rise. Okay, it's still going up. So, then if the price can really break up the two thousand five hundred eighty level, and even the higher one two thousand six hundred and. Uh, twenty something, two hundred, two thousand six hundred and twenty something. Then, for Singapore market, this might be a very forceful rebound. Okay, but、uh, at least currently it's、uh, still、uh, strong upward momentum. So at a strong support level here, and later we will check the Singapore individual stocks. Then we realize that some Singapore stocks have uh, uh, become to move, have begin to move, right? That's because the U.S. market is、um, giving us opportunity, and also the、uh, the STI the index is uh, uh, performing relatively speaking、uh, not bad, right? So that's the reason. And then for Hansen index. For Hansen, so we see the price now is trying to break up the strongest resistance level around twenty four thousand five hundred. Twenty four thousand five hundred. So today I think uh currently the price is around that level now, but ha hasn't yet really break up. Okay, if a Hansen index can break up and then continue going up to break up the Resistance around twenty five thousand one hundred and eighty. That would be a great. That would be great for Hansen Index. And then for KOCI. Okay, so for KOCI, what we see is if we also check the chips. Currently, the price gets support around the uh this blue uh this blue bar here. Uh, one thousand five hundred and ten, right? Get support, begin to rebound, and we see above it has very very strong resistance. The first target level is around one thousand five hundred seventy, and then the strongest resistance is around one thousand six hundred. So in near future, the price might continue going up to touch the resistance levels above, and. Then we need to test whether the price can break up, but faced with so strong resistance, it's possible that the price may、uh, drop first, or there might be some ups and downs around the level here. Okay, this is about the market performance. Then let's check the Singapore market today, and、uh, I mentioned the first topic we talk about I fast, right? So 
Why we talk about I first? Because in my recent videos, I have been mentioning I first almost every session, right? Almost every session I was talking about uh, I first recently, and、uh, the first time I mentioned it that's fourteenth、uh, September, right? Fourteenth September I mentioned it, but after I mentioned on that day, the price keeps sideways there for. A long time. It's roughly、uh, half a month. Half a month. A sideway day. More than ten trading days. Sideway day, right? And then recently, when the price begin to uh, uh go up a bit, I mentioned again when I will level here. Yeah, I think it's here. And all all the following day, we see the. No no no! I think it should be、uh, which date? No no no! Not here. Yeah here, I mentioned again. Uh, seventh October because that's the day when the purple line is raising the red bar of multi color dragon, which re represent the big boys, right? So. The big boys increase purple line within the red bar. Usually, that's the beginning of a short term rally. If you're homely member, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and then after that, we see quickly the price go up in the last four trading days. And if you have been able to monitor it and have been able to catch the by、uh, the 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 beginning of the rally here based on multi color dragon, you will be able to secure the. Perform、uh, the profit recently. So today is around. Uh, now is six percent. The previous two days, roughly uh, uh three or four percent. So altogether, you already can get ten percent of profit for I first. But what lesson to learn from I first? The lesson to learn is for Singapore market. You really need patience. This is the lesson to learn. Why you need the patience? Because if you uh after we have the first recycle, if you feel that wow it can just it it just doesn't move for a very long time, then you give up. You never look at it look at it again. So you miss the recent rally, right? But if you really have have the patience, you have been you monitoring this one all the time after the first recycle here, and then you will be able to catch the recent rally. And not actually not just I first in my recent videos, I also talked about several other、uh, Singapore shares. Let's say Meditech, right? Meditech we see today. It seems like begin to move again. Now it's a seven percent, right? This morning when I was checking, it's only four percent. Now it's already seven percent of rally now. Okay, and it begins to move. Finally, we see the price is a bit above the yellow line of homely rainbow, right? So that's a good good sign. But the first time I mentioned it, that's a twenty second. Uh, September. That's last month. So al al also already roughly two weeks. The first time I mentioned it. So if after the first time I mentioned it, you monitor this one for just one or two days for one week, you 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 feel that wow, it doesn't move. Then you give up. Then you might lose the potential great rallies in future. This one, but the good thing is, uh, for this one, it didn't really go up a lot. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me. It didn't really go up a lot now, right? It doesn't like uh, I fast, I fast already sold up uh by ten percent recently. So you cannot chase after the rally if you already missed it, right? But for Meditech. Maybe in near future you keep monitoring; it will give you the opportunity. Today it begins to move already, and we uh we see that the retailers are decreasing. If the purple line turn upward in near future, I believe the price might、uh, give us a rally. Maybe it's a big rally. It's possible. It's possible. So this one has great potentiality, and then 
Uh, the other one I also talked about a lot recently is C eight R right. Jiuting chemical, you see the same. The first day I mentioned it, that's uh, last month already, two weeks ago. So if you don't have patience, then you definitely cannot catch the recent rally. And uh, I I think uh, on seventh October I actually mentioned this one again because that's the day when we see the. Retailers disappear completely, right? Can you see multicolored dragon retailer disappear completely? Big boy increase, and the purple line is now turning upward. So on that day, I mentioned this is very beautiful. This might be the beginning of rally. So in the last three trading days until today, uh, last uh, until now, right today, it's in a rally. So. You see, for Singapore market, because a lot of、uh, investors they still stick to Singapore. They don't want to trade the U.S. because they feel it's、uh, too、uh, dangerous, too risky.、Uh, you, if、um, if they cannot tolerate so much risks, they can they dare not to trade the U.S. market, right? But Singapore market, well, it's okay because it's safe, right? It's quite safe. It's slow, but it's safe. But for Singapore market, the only The most important thing that can determine your profit is two things. Firstly, is you have you need to have this、uh, effective trading system. You need to be able to check multicolored dragon to know this one has、uh, a lot of big boys in it. It has potentiality, and also it's in uptrend. And also you need to know the short term buy and the sell points. How to find them? So you need a trading system here, right? You need the software here. This is the one first. Important thing. The other important thing is patience. Patience for Singapore market, you really need patience. It's safe and it's easy to make a profit for Singapore market. But if you don't have patience, then you you will lose most of the opportunities for Singapore. Okay, so this is the lesson to learn from、uh, IFAS, and actually uh, these uh, two other shares, Jiuting Chemical and、um, uh, Meditech, Meditech, right, Meditech. So the lesson to learn: patience. Okay, and then、uh, for Apple, because we know that uh, tomorrow uh, Apple is going to announce uh, about its.、Uh, A five G iPhone twelve, right? And if we check the chart for Apple, we check the chart for Apple. So many many people are thinking, well, is it a good point to buy now? Is a good timing to buy now, right? So how to deal with Apple? For one thing, if the uh uh the the announcement tomorrow, uh, uh the market re re uh re responded quite positively, so it can give uh the participants more expectations, more confidence, and about this new uh five G iPhone, then it's possible that in future there might be another rally for Apple, right? And、um, So can we buy now? Okay. So how do we check? Firstly, one thing is, uh, currently the price is around the yellow lines of a、uh, homely rainbow, right? So it just break up the yellow line of homely rainbow. It didn't go up a lot, right? It's just around the yellow line. So that actually is good because if it's already Quite far away from the yellow line for short term trading, it's already、uh, a bit high. We don't chase after the rally, right? So that's one thing, one good thing for Apple. And then, if you really want to catch the、uh, potential opportunity, can follow the purple line and the big boy. Currently, it's around twenty five percent, and retailers is less than twenty five percent. That's good. So if let's say tonight. If the the purple line turn upward, the big boy increase to be higher than the purple line. Then for short term trading, that would be a good entry point for short term trading, just for short term trading. And then remember, we have resistance above. 
Okay, so the first resistance is around the previous first the yellow Tai Chi signal. The bottom is the low price of the yellow Tai Chi. That's one hundred twenty three dollar point eighty three cents. Okay, and the high price is um one. Uh, one hundred twenty-seven point forty-eight. This is the first uh, target line, target uh, uh, resistance level here, future resistance level here, first target. And if recently it really rebound, reach the level, and if it can break up, then above we have this uh, second yellow Tai Chi signal as very strong resistance. So if the price can break up. The high of the second yellow Tai Chi, which is one hundred and thirty-seven point ninety-eight, okay, then Apple would be a quite bullish. So what we do is, if we were trying to buy here tonight or recently, then check the resistance level above, okay, resistance level above. And the other thing is, never forget to set up your stop loss in advance. What if the, uh, after the, 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 uh, the announcement tomorrow, then uh, that's, a, uh, that's the uh, negative uh, uh, feedback to participants, then uh, if something bad happen, then if the price drop, your stop loss would be, yeah, the last yellow line of Homely Rainbow. The it's around one hundred and twelve dollar seventy two cents. Okay, that's your stop loss level. So, if you want to, let's say, uh, trade based on technical analysis, you have to accept the fact that you cannot reach one hundred percent accuracy rate. So it means you need to get prepared that you might be you might fail for the trading. But you, as long as you set your stop loss level, you already know the worst thing that can happen. Your risk, your loss will be under control. So nothing to uh, to uh, fear about, right? Okay. So that's for Apple. Why I uh, talk about Apple because you you realize that recently. The five high tech giants in the U.S. market: uh, Apple, uh, Amazon, Google, uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, uh, they all uh, going up. I, I think apart from uh, uh, Facebook, uh, 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 base, except Facebook. Sorry, except except Facebook. All the rest of four uh, tech giants, uh, they have uh, went up. They have been up recently, uh, or last Friday. So you check, Facebook didn't go up. It's the weakest of the five uh, uh, tech giants. So it's still below the yellow line of Homely Rainbow, right? But for Amazon, I, okay. See, for Amazon, also the price already break up the yellow line and. Last Friday is a big rise, and the purple line is about to turn upward. So, for Amazon, if you you might ask the same question, can I buy recently? Okay, so for Apple, we have the news about the uh, uh the the new iPhone. For Amazon, whether or not we have news, if you check the chart here, it's also okay, right? For short term trading. Also can try, but never forget to set your stop loss level. And the previous uh, yellow Tai Chi signal here, the high price here is also uh, will be some sort of resistance here. So if the price can break up, maybe it can continue going up to reach the previous high. Okay. Okay. So that's for uh, Amazon, and then for the other. 
uh, se uh several uh you can uh check yourself because i don't have uh, enough time to check all of them for you now for homely members you can go back and check your own software if you are not yet a homely member you can talk to me privately if you are interested in this um, in these five high tech giants how to trade in future okay can talk to me privately okay so uh that's about the uh, knowledge part or the sharing part uh, for today and then the now is the stock diagnosis time okay so let me check do you what stocks you want to uh, check so uh, first one is uh, ddog ddog okay we check ddog first ddog when i was checking this one for others uh do you have some other stocks yeah you can write down so that i don't need to wait and waste your time here okay so for this one the first thing is if we check multicolor dragon of course this one is a good stock to pick why because it has a red bar around 50 percent it's quite stable above 50 percent right so it's quite stable here and for the previous rally it can even uh, be stable above 75 percent so means it's a good stock to pick then after we uh we 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 know that it's a good one to pick to to trade to consider then the next thing is when to buy right so for short-term trading when is the best entry points and for medium-term trading can we buy okay so let's check for medium term first this is the yellow lines here and we see the ever since the high back in july the 10th back on july the 10th the price has been in sideways or slightly downward a bit right and drop below the yellow lines of homely rainbow and then recently 15 september the price go back above the yellow line again right so considering this survey or this correction here it, it lasts for quite a long time that's roughly two months right it's regarded as a significant medium term correction here okay so then if you want to buy and hold uh, buy and hold for medium term trading that's also a good idea that's also a good yeah means for medium term trading when the price break up the yellow line of homely rainbow you can buy after buy you can keep holding until now for medium term trading okay and then how about for short term short term we need to check uh ray and bicycle you see it's interesting the first day the price break up the yellow line of homely rainbow that's the first uh, risico that's also the day when the retailer disappear completely the big boys increase the purple line turn up what so after that the following day we can see we have the confirmation because the close price is uh, uh let's say roughly the same level as the high price of the first uh, risico candle uh you can see this is the buy point right okay buy point this is the i mean this is the confirmed buy point first the risicle is a buy signal but if we don't get the confirmation we never buy the confirmation is the price the following day should be higher or at least the same level as the uh, high price of the first uh, risicle candle so the se second day that's a confirmed buy point right so after we buy here so the price actually a drop first so it means what after you buy don't expect that the price can go up every day it's possible that after you buy for one day or two days the price might drop first so you might uh, be at a small loss but as long as the price 
get support at the yellow line of homely rainbow, then we have very high probability the price can continue going up. See? And you can check the risicle. As long as it's risicle, keep holding for short term. Okay? So that's for short term trading. Buy low, sell high. And for medium term trading, you can ignore the uh, re cycle here. Okay, so this is how we can uh, deal with uh, DDOG. So I don't know uh, what, what the price you have bought or are you still looking to buy now. So if you are looking to buy now, uh, I think for short term trading, it's uh, uh, yeah, it's the first risicle, but you see no actually no correction here. So you need to be careful You check the half level of the long bullish candle here if the price cannot uh, it, Oh, let, let me put it in another way if the price draw below the half level of this long bullish candle means for short term It's weak better not to touch for short term trading, but for medium term you can just after you buy you can just keep holding okay as long as the price remain above the yellow lines keep holding and then the next one in a video stock to check is Jardin uh, Singapore stock Jardin I remember Jardin the chart uh, it's uh, uh, let me check C07 right Oh, no, no, no. I think uh, you are talking about this uh, C. Uh, I got three, yeah? C07, B A H R. I think you are talking about C07. Oh, uh, Jardin C and C. Then this one? Okay, let me check the. C. This is a sub new share. Let me try again the next one. It's a new share. Oh, I think it's not the right one. C07, right? Yeah, C07. I think that's the right one. Okay, so for Jadin, I remember it's quite weak. You can see yourself. The uh, long term trend down medium term to long term down medium term down currently the price enable to break up the medium term trend line the yellow lines right why cannot break up because no big boys too much retailers okay if the price can really break up the yellow line here means at least for short term there might be a rebound here and especially if the price can break up the white lines, uh, sorry, the blue lines of homely rainbow, this rebound can be might be a forceful one. It might be a forceful one, but currently we don't see the sign of uh, the possible sign of uh, breaking up. If you really want the price break up, you need big boys. No big boys, no chance. Okay, no big boys, no chance. The other one is uh uh you want to check a B I G C right B I G C this should be a U.S. stock B I G C big commercial holding okay oh this is a sub new share IPO not a long time ago right okay so for short term it's in rebound because we have the risicle and we get the confirmation for short term it's in rebound but don't forget for this one currently the big boys around 25 percent retailer more than 25 percent if you want to want this share continue going up for a long time in future you have to get these retailers uh, disappear. The retailers have to disappear, and the big boys at least at least need to be above twenty five percent. And it if it can reach fifty percent, stay around that level. That will be the best. And above 
for this share for short term trading above we have resistance the previous downward gap this is resistance and the previous uh, yellow tai chi and uh, the first yellow tai chi now the price is already around the first yellow tai chi here so uh, this level we also have some sort of resistance here if press unable to break up it might turn white circle if turn white circle for short term trading you already can leave yeah you follow the circle to decide your entry and exit point for short term trading okay uh, the other one is uh, U09, U09. Okay, Singapore stock, we check the real time. U09. I will go. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, for the first thing, I will go at least the trend for long term, for medium term, is still up, right? The trend is still up. So, that's a good thing. Uh, today is also the first recycle, right? It's the first recycle today, and uh, the the weakness is we currently have the big boys just around twenty five percent. If the big boy can increase, that would be better. And for short term trading, uh, we also need the confirmation, right? So maybe if tomorrow we get the confirmation for short term trading, also can consider this one also may have a potentiality in future. At least the big boys now, uh, the retailers now is just, uh, uh, it's already below 25%. That's good. And if the big boys can keep increasing, the popular would turn upward. It's possible that there might be a rally in near future the only problem and also there is another problem uh okay check the volume volume is still uh volume okay it's uh, more than one million it's okay if the volume is more than one million now you, you can check the figure here right so today now up until now that's around four million okay four million uh is it yeah it's four million right so four million so that's good uh volume okay so this one can monitor it might have opportunity and the other one hong kong stock right hong kong stock uh three seven nine nine three seven nine nine oh okay zero three seven uh seven nine nine okay okay for this one the bad thing is you check uh no big boy we all we have is uh speculator yellow bar speculator no big boy right no big boy that's that's a big problem and currently we see the white line of homely rainbow is still slightly downward so uh, I'm not saying that this share it, it, it's for sure that no hope for this share if let's say the sideway area here the price really can break up the sideway area here and the big boys can begin to increase this one also might have opportunity at least for short term but we need to check for hong kong stocks it's uh, just a five dollar around five dollar this is a penny stock this is not a very active stock that's a very big problem you you also can check the candlesticks if i remove all the indicators here you check the candles here you realize that this share the candles not healthy candle this is not healthy candle means this is not a, a active share we better stay away from inactive uh, stocks so you can check the volume also see uh, volume uh, last friday is uh, 7 million but previously it's just around 
one million for Hong Kong share. That's too small. That's really small volume. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, for today, I I don't know today whether uh, whether it go up or it go down up until now. We can check a bit. Uh, for short term, okay. T because for short term is the first risk. Uh, if today the close price higher, that's a confirmation for short term to buy. But I already mentioned this is not a very good stock at the very beginning. Right, and also it's not active. That's a big problem, and we can check. Uh, maybe we switch to Hong Kong market to check for you. Zero three seven nine nine. Zero three seven nine nine. See today the candle is not a. Very beautiful candle because we have a very long upper shadow today. Long upper shadow here means very strong resistance. Press unable to break up the resistance, and uh, the good thing is for this first recycle candle, the half level, the price now is still remain above the half level here, right? So that's a Good thing for short term. That's a good sig. That's a, uh, positive signal here. We see today the price used to drop to a very low level, very close to the half. But in the end, it rebounded. So now is around the close price of yesterday, last last uh, Friday. Okay. So this one, I uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't have any chance for short term trading. Maybe in near future we also can have a, a a rally here, a rise here recently for short term. But it's just that the potentiality is not as strong as the stocks with big boys taking control, right? And it's not as safe as the stocks with big boys taking control. I mentioned for making the right right choice is far more important than working hard. If you have uh, picked the right stock, make the right choice from the very beginning. You always stick to uh, stocks with big boys taking control. Let's say, uh, uh, I have mentioned Anfis recently. It's quite bullish. Why? <laughs> because big boys more than seventy five percent is quite stable. You follow the first risk here to buy, your profit is get gigantic and you are very safe. You're quite safe. But for uh, such stocks as you have mentioned, this Hong Kong one, so I'm not saying that we don't have uh, uh, any opportunity, but you have to take a lot of risks, big risks to take. So we want to. Uh, Take as less risks risks as possible, right? We want to avoid the uh, uh, risks, right? So if you want to avoid risks, you better stick to uh, this kind of share. You are safe, and also your profit is much more bigger, because you are faced with less uncertainty. For this kind of share, you have to face a big uncertainty, big risks. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, that's uh, I think uh, now it's uh, twelve forty, and uh, I feel that if the video is too long, so uh, people may have don't have uh, so much time, so long a time to hear through, right? So I will try to make my video uh, can can control the time within thirty minutes, and I think uh, I should call it a day today. But before we uh. Finish. We end this video. Uh, I uh, haven't yet mentioned about the disclaimer. All the stocks mentioned in the video are for the purpose of demonstration and education, no recommendation. Investors should be aware of the risks involved in stock trading and take full responsibilities for their own trades. And also, if you haven't yet follow my uh, public uh, page on Facebook, you can just uh, search at. Homely Emily on your Facebook, you get this、uh, trade with Homely chart. This is me. This is my profile picture. You can click like, follow me, follow my page, and then 
In future, you will be informed immediately once we I have new uploadings, I have new live broadcasts. Okay, and also, uh, I hope you can help me share this video with your friends. Your encouragement will be my biggest motivation. And also, uh, because tomorrow, uh, I have something personal to deal with, so uh, I cannot make it for the live broadcast tomorrow. So I need to ask for leave from you. Okay, so no live broadcast tomorrow. Uh, I guess I I will see you. Uh, Wednesday. Okay, that's all for today. Bye bye.